Another month, another record-setting leap in prices. Inflation hitting a nearly four-decade high with prices jumping 7% over the last year. Now, no surprise, it's really hitting our wallets hard. Rent costs went up more than 4%. Meantime, gas prices skyrocketing nearly 50% over the past year. And while not as much of a dramatic increase on other items, your morning cup of joe is still getting pricier as well, increasing over 6%. Washington correspondent Evan Lambert breaks down the newest report. Inflation hitting levels not seen in nearly 40 years. A new report out Wednesday showing consumer prices have shot up 7% over last December, the highest yearly increase since 1982. Rising inflation. Prompting Republicans to pounce, blaming a congressional spending spree. Part of the problem is that uh, the federal government's just been shoveling money out the door. And when you have so much money chasing limited goods and services, particularly with the problems with supply chains, this is what you get. The price hikes are hitting Americans on everything from cars to groceries. The price of an average new car in December was just over $47,000, up 14% from last year, while a gallon of milk cost $3.74 in December, up nearly 6%. Many economists saying the high prices are caused by the economic rebound from the pandemic and supply chain woes. Higher wages are also playing a role, driving up consumer spending. On Tuesday, Fed Chair Jerome Powell admitting he wrongly predicted the supply chain would rebound more quickly, cutting prices. But he noted the Fed is prepared to more aggressively raise interest rates to halt the cost increases. If we see inflation persisting, at high levels longer than expected, then then we will, you know, then we'll, if we have to raise interest rates more over time, we will. This, as polling suggests, Americans are now more concerned about the economy than even the government's response to COVID-19, a political problem for President Biden and Democrats ahead of the midterm elections. President Biden saying gas and food prices are falling and calling that progress. The White House pointing to the fact that between November and December, inflation did slow slightly. If we are trying to look at uh, where we are headed, the month-to-month -month changes are more instructive, uh, and most independent forecasters uh, continue to project that we will see moderation in price increases uh, over the course uh, of 2022. In Washington, Evan Lambert, News Nation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.